Welcome friends. Today let's paint together and create a wintry snowy scene. So I have a piece of watercolor paper that I've trimmed to be a bookmark size. I've taped it down and I'm using dual brush pens today to do the watercoloring. I'll leave the exact color numbers below but you want to start with some light colors. I have some pinks and purples here and you want to add the color to the top part of the bookmark. Use some water to blend the colors together but blend them unevenly. You want them to give that sky feeling. You don't want one solid color. Now I want to add in some, now we want to draw in some mountains. The mountains I'm going to draw in with some black color and I'm scribbling the color onto the ceramic dish that I have on the side. The black is such a contrasting color, I'm a little scared to bring it directly to the paper. So by adding it to the ceramic dish, you have more control of how much color you add to the paper. So next you want to add some color to the bottom of the bookmark. I'm choosing the light purple, adding a little bit of water over it so the, pa the paper is kind of damp right now. Then we're going to pick up more of the black color and we want to add our first layer of trees. So the tree shapes are just kind of like, think of the fir trees or the evergreen, black, evergreen trees. I'm not adding them precisely, I just want a kind of a background of trees. So I added four, star, uh, four tree trunks, then I'm patting my brush just to add an impression of trees here. So now we have a general layout of where everything's going to go. I'm going to add more black to the ceramic dish pick it up and now let's add more details to the mountain. Again, anything that I'm adding right now, I don't want it to be even. I'm just adding a splotch of color. I'm not blending anything. I don't want it to be a nice solid color. You want it to have splotches of gray and splotches of black. Then you want to go ahead and add more layers on top of the trees as well. So you just want to draw a tall tree trunk and then add V kind of lines downwards, kind of overlap the lines to create the trees. The trees are going to be in the background, so they don't need to really look crisp. We just want them to have a nice presence in the background. So I'm adding more black and again add more layers on top until you feel comfortable. You like the way the forest of trees is looking. Now we pick up more of the black color towards the bottom of the bookmark. This is going to be our foreground. We're going to draw in more trees here. Those trees will be in focus. The trees that we just painted, they are going to be in the background. So we have our landscape scene kind of established. Now let's go ahead and add snow. We want to make the mountains look snow capped and for that I'm using acrylic paint or you can use gesso. What you want to do is add a nice thick layer on top of the mountains and make sure your strokes are uneven. You don't want to draw a straight line. You want to add short strokes of paint. This way the snow looks like it's fallen. Think of snow capped mountains and how jaggedy the snow looks on top of that and just apply a few layers of acrylic paint. The acrylic paint sits on top of our watercoloring really beautifully and gives a nice contrast. To add a little bit more drama to our snow, I'm adding a crystal glaze by the Nouveau brand. I'll leave a link in the description box for this product. It's a very small bottle, it's really cute and it has a little bit of texture so when you paint with it, you can see the kind of white texture nest. It just, it looks like snow in real life when you use it in the pro on top of the bookmark. It is really fun and I think that just fun elements like this elevate the simple painting that we're doing. Alright, the snow part was so much fun. Now let's just go ahead and finish up the bookmark. We'll draw more trees now. And again, I'm using the black that I'm picking up from the ceramic dish because I don't want the trees to be, you know, really bold yet. So I'm just adding layers of color. By adding multiple layers of black onto the trees, you kind of create that shadow and you get that forest look. It's, it doesn't look like just three trees standing in a row. It looks like a deep forest. Now we let it dry for a few seconds and I'm gonna take the brush pen. So bring your brush pen directly to the paper and you wanna draw the tree trunk and then draw lines coming down just kind of V lines and keep them random, shaky. You want them to be uneven, nothing precise and draw them quickly. I've realized that the more I think about it, the more I start thinking, oh, does it look like a tree? But if you just draw the strokes quickly and take a step back and look at it, it all looks nice. So just quickly add more black onto it. And if you feel like the black is just too much, again, just take a little bit of water, blend it out because you want it to be in the background and I'll make it look like trees in the next step so you don't have to worry. Just blend all of this together now. So now while the trees dry, I'm taking a pen. This is the Mono Twin Permanent Marker. 
this is a nice oil based pen and what we do is we're going to draw a few trees just random stalks on the top of the mountains when we use an oil based pen we're completely sure that it will not bleed you know when it, when you draw on something that's slightly damp or anything that you have water coloring with you always want to use an oil based pen because that will give you the best result now with the same pen let's draw more trees towards the bottom of the bookmark these are going to be in the foreground so you can add all the details you want but i'm just drawing scrawny trees you just draw a straight line all the way up and then draw lines downwards like upside down v's again make them shaky uneven and just add more character to it all right now it's time to make it snow you want to thin down the white acrylic paint that you have and with the paintbrush an old toothbrush or anything you want to flick paint onto the bookmark get your fingers messy and just keep flicking paint you want some smaller drops and bigger drops so maybe move the paintbrush up and down to get a different variation of the drop size and this is just so satisfying it looks like real snow and in just a few minutes our whole bookmark looks like a snowy winter scene now now carefully peel back your tape and your bookmark is ready. The glaze is totally optional but I love the texture and dimension that it adds. This is a very simple beginner friendly project. I have step by step photos on my blog. I'll leave a link to the blog post in the description box as well. Thank you so much for painting with me today friends. I hope you enjoyed painting this winter landscape scene and I'll see you guys soon with another video. Till then, happy crafting!